Shalom. Our verse for today is Luke chapter 16 verse 10. Anyone who is trustworthy in little things is trustworthy in great. Anyone who is dishonest in little things is dishonest in great. Jesus made this statement after he narrated the story of the crafty steward. The steward was lazy and wasteful of his master's resources. When he got to know that the master will sack him, he called those who owed his master and reduced their debt with the hope that they will remember the kindness he showed them and welcome him into their home when the master finally sacks him. The steward was crafty, investing his master's resources for the benefit, I mean for his own benefit and not the benefit of the master. This brings us to the question of trustworthiness. The opposite of being trustworthy is being dishonest. The Greek terms used for these opposing human dispositions are ho pistos and ho adikos. The first noun ho pistos refers to a trustworthy, faithful, and dependable person. Ho adikos, on the other hand, is the opposite of ho pistos. It describes someone who violates justice someone who deals fraudulently with others, a dishonest and unjust person. If someone is not trustworthy in little things, why should he or they be entrusted with greater things? Dishonest people are like dogs who do not know the value of pearls. They will trample on them and would want to eat up the honor. Dishonest people are very destructive. Funny enough, they try to cover up their dishonesty with greater dishonesty. Dishonesty is eating up the human society. Most politicians are dishonest. They tell you what they think you want to hear and do what they want. Once you elect them into power, they continue to manipulate the system in order to remain in power to the detriment of the masses. Some church ministers are dishonest both with God and with the people entrusted to their care. Some business people are dishonest wanting to make ill-gotten gains overnight. Can people around you trust you? If they cannot trust you, how can God trust you? If lesser beings cannot trust you, how can the greatest being trust you? If you cannot be trusted with this earthly life, how can you be trusted with eternal life? Do you want God to trust you? Then begin by making human beings trust you. Remember, box properly, box day. If people trust you, God will trust you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we ask you to help humanity to build up trust so that we can live harmoniously with one another. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.